Good evening, everybody. This is Lethal Sales. Thank you all for being here. Um, we are all getting excited for the NADA show, even those of us who won't be there. <laughs> um, so tonight we're going to talk about our plans and all the things we intend to get accomplished and who we'd like to meet with and see if we can make all our connections and help each other and support each other. Take it away, Larry. Well, I'm, I'm personally excited because there's a bunch of people I've become really friendly with and I've never had the pleasure to shake hands with that, such as my man, Russell Hill, Tony, um, just a bunch of you. I uh, can't wait to meet with you. As far as the events, um, we, we're, uh, Peter and I are going to be involved with uh, an interview by Brooke Furness. Um, we're we're going to be doing a podcast from the Icon booth and a few others. Um, so we'll have lethal sales, little mini segments of it throughout the show. And I'm just looking to see everybody learn as much as we can possibly learn and have as much fun a as we possibly can. Now, uh, uh, I got to interrupt you, Larry. Um, I have you and Peter at 6150 North ICOM at one o'clock, right? That's yeah. correct. And, and, there, and there is a unique uh, Zoom. Those of you who aren't going to be there, there's unique Zoom links for the two. Oh, um nada shows which um i think i put out already but look look on um social and they'll be sure. repeated over the next few days is sorry. that the second or third i'm sorry uh, second the second is yeah, friday, friday and, th and the third is saturday and the third we're at the ipacket booth at one o'clock it's on the that's on the third saturday Saturday the third. What booth is that? I pack it. Yeah. That uh that is I I'll have to get the the actual number yeah. for it. But I mean I, I I'm probably going to look, but I'm I'm writing most of this stuff down of things that I'm going to make it to, and if I miss one, I can get the other one. And uh, Russell, I believe you're having a big event also that nope, Peter nope. and I are going to be attending. Can't no? talk about it. No, I'm just kidding. Can't talk about yes. it. Okay, it never happened. We're <laughs> no, hold on. Action program. Never saw it. Never no, happened. No. So yes, uh, it's a very special event. It's a first, e first one ever, and it's going to parlay into something big. I was. Uh, I got another meeting with Joshua in the morning to fine tune the, the list. But we, I think uh, Joshua is the kind of guy. He'll straighten me out. I think we have 156, 157 dealerships represented there uh we have we that's have correct award. sir yes yeah, thank you it's called the golden wrench awards uh gwa uh it's in uh, mandalay bay in a place called the 1923 prohibition bar you enter through a big bookcase uh representative of the 23 uh, the 20 speakeasies right and it leads into the best way to describe it is like a business bourbon and cigars a high-end business bourbon and cigar so we have people like uh, handing awards out to uh, Kaylee Filio, um, Glenn Lundy uh, is going to be there. Let's see, uh, Ed Roberts. Uh, then we have, uh, we're sharing some of it with um, APCO Easy Care, my friend and uh, uh, Corey Smith and some of his associates. We're also giving um, uh, uh, awards out to several women as well that are uh, like for April and Sarah. Uh, with the answer automotive group in san antonio she's been a client of mine through three different companies i don't know her as well as i know her uh people you know that oversee corporate uh i mean variable and fixed but um no uh, we we've met several times so she's agreed hand her award uh a woman her, her statue stature uh ali peters uh another one uh uh, over a fixed ops director over a large automotive group in major metropolitan areas. That's a big thing, uh, being a woman. Uh, the other one I, I didn't get, I didn't get to hear back today or not. Um, if not, I'll find out. But we were hoping that uh, Liza Myers Borges would be there representing CMA, and uh, I'm honored that they, you know, other than she at this time, I had another lady. I think she's. She just hadn't got back. Her name is Armina. She's the CEO of the Shaver Nori Automotive Group, which we do business with in California. A, and uh, she's 
it just, I mean, these are three amazing women or four amazing women. Uh, Justin Pomeroy uh, with Foundation Automotive Group is another one. A lot of you may know who he is. Um, I met him like uh, three days before he even work, went to work for Foundation. He keeps climbing that ladder and they keep buying stores left and right. Uh, uh, believe it or not, we're going to hand an award out and recognize Joshua Taylor. Well uh, deserved. Yeah, and, and and it's not like, okay, he works for you, Russell. I mean, come on, man, conflict. No, no, no. What he does for advisors and technicians and how he supports this community uh, and his Wrench Turners podcast and all the notoriety that gets, uh, you know, more just honored to be able to do that. Then we also have two more, Michael Berich, uh, who's a dear friend as well. And most of you know him. And the last one you may not know, but you'll get to know him. I've had, uh, I've never met him. Then Kieran. Uh, from Australia, uh, uh, very influential in automotive over there and has a lot of influence on me and a lot of people with all the meetings, uh, you know, from COVID forward, uh, he would attend meetings, you know, at 12 and midnight, one o'clock in the morning, his time. Uh, but he's, uh, he's an author, uh, wrote a wonderful book. Some of you may know about called service advisor 101. And he's fixing to be a client as well because we're moving into Australia now with fixed ops marketing. Uh, other than that, uh, that's it. We decided to pass on the hundred thousand dollar twenty by twenty booth, uh, being an ROI company. Let's do the math on that. We got seven deals on the last one for twenty five thousand dollars. No, pass punt down the road. We're not going to do that. Uh, plus, we don't have the money. But from an ROI perspective, uh, it just it would have taken everything. We're also taking that time. We rented a uh, marvelous, uh, I'm going to be close. Joshua may not know this, but it's like a seven or 8,000 square foot house with a pool and tennis and table and, you know, 10 bedrooms. So we're having uh, the core of our management team because we can't get everybody there. Some of the people we don't even know because we're growing so fast. But we're going to have uh, team building and management building exercises because our team, I mean, my chief programmer, nobody's ever met him. And he's worked for us for over four years. He's flying in from Hawaii. So this is a wonderful, wonderful guy. Plus, I get to meet a lot of you who I haven't met in person before, et cetera. And uh, that's it. That's, I'm excited. I'm pumped up. Fired up, ready. Go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Got my hat, Russell. Mike, you're going, right? No, not this year, but I'm going to hug your neck when, once I see you in person. You will. Uh, Very soon he, this year. Yeah, I know Tony's coming. Uh, now this I've is met my him hat before. for dress-up day yeah. at the show. <laughs> That's a representation or uh, whatever you call it of his consulting company. The guy is so freaking talented. Uh, Green Pea Consulting. How appropriate that hat. For those who know, they don't know what they don't know and know it. Yeah, unconscious incompetent. Right. So I know you Wendy's going to be there. You don't know, so therefore you don't right. know. I know Tony's going to be there. Wendy's going to be there. Larry's going to be there. And Peter's going to be there. That's, that's all I I'm know. actually flying out with Brian. Brian who? Brian Motes. Oh, are, is he coming? Yeah. Yeah, are Brian you, and Zach are going. And do, uh, do, Hold on. Did you, did you get an invite? I mean, did he fill out the... Uh, the event right thing, Brian. We're we're gonna have to try to. If you didn't, we need to make room for you because literally, seriously, there's a capacity issue, and uh, they'll start turning people away. So I just want to make sure uh, that you're on there, Josh. Would you write his name down? And Joshua and I are meeting in the morning to fine tune this list. But Brian, you are coming, right? Yeah, we will. We the entire onboarding team will be there. Our chief technology officer, myself, and Zach. So there'll be four of us. That will be there. Okay. We're talking car in the garage, right? I did not know because we haven't really got to know each other. And so uh, we couldn't actually announce it or publicize this thing because it is a private uh, event. Uh, but I can tell you this, we're, we're going to see what we can do. And let's make sure that, uh, that we have your contact information because Joshua and I are fine tuning that tomorrow. We think with the people we got coming, maybe 20%, you got plane problems, they couldn't get there, et cetera. And you know it's on February 1st, Thursday, correct, Brian? Yes. So I'm trying to see what time, because I know we are going to be 
at the um, women driving retail event oh. all day on Thursday as well. Um, over at the um, at the convention, I think it starts it starts at the win in the morning, and then and then it's at the convention center in the afternoon, if I remember right. Okay. Well, I uh, I I apologize. I did not know. I know there's a few people that registered uh, some people. And unfortunately, uh, the, the, they sent the invite to, and it, it, anybody that tries to get in, it says sold out. You just you can't, you just can't get in. But we're we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can make some accommodations. But I I gotta wait until tomorrow with after Joshua. Is that okay? I apologize if you didn't hear me. I'm having there. I think it's working. I was having some Zoom issues. So I'm trying oh. to drive my daughter to the to the gym so she can work out. <laughs> okay. Russell, but I appreciate dude. that, and and I know that um I, I don't know that we had, I was on the call last week. I can't remember. So, just trying to keep it all in front of us as far as knowing where where we're going and where we're going. But I appreciate you trying to make the accommodation and get us in because we would love to be a part of it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, one thing I I didn't want to do, and then I'll, I'll I'll quit here. But if we announced it, there would uh we you know, given the time frame, we think it's perfect time frame for the people that are getting there a little earlier. But we thought, okay, uh, if we start announcing it and it, it has a capacity and uh, I didn't, I, I don't want anybody's feelings getting hurt because there's so many more people I'd like to invite, but can't because of our, our the, the space that we have. So if anybody feels like that, please forgive me. And I apologize. Uh, I, that's not what the intent was at all. It had nothing to do with that. It's just when we started sending out these invites, who who uh, registered, registered. But we'll see. What we're we're going to make some. We'll, give me till tomorrow, Brian. Okay. Put the okay. blame on my shoulders. No, no. Russell, you said there's a capacity issue. Do I need Do I need to lose a few pounds to get in? No, no. I think you'll be fine. Yeah, right. absolutely. Great. Thanks. Well, Russ, I, I noticed. Um, it's funny. I just looked at the text you sent me a couple days ago for the the where you indicated you're starting with the good looking people. So I got my invitation first and you're working your way through the less attractive people. No insult intended. It was Russell. I would never say anything that contentious. On well, show, you know, uh, is that why I got 298 on my, my ticket? Oh my there God. Go. Uh, no, but listen, I know it's going to, no, they're actually, uh, I, I know uh, uh, this is going to prelude. So people, uh, people, a few people have reached out and mentioned this say, Russell, I mean, we're in the eleventh hour, brother. You have you're a you're a you're a marketing company. You're everywhere, and we've seen nothing about what's going on in an ADA, man. You are missing the boat. And I said, no, it's intentional. The marketing capabilities and advertising uh, uh, is so so huge after in ADA because of all the video and picture content that right. we're going to get for next year we hope it's going to be it's going to be open and 3 4 500 people that's what we're hoping that's great okay sorry about that i took up peter uh that what do you have to, uh, russ thank you so much for sharing thank that you. can't wait to shake your hand my buddy hug um, you man hug you not shake i'm in okay. i'm in okay um peter any thoughts my buddy we, i mean i i peter has mapped this thing out so carefully we're going to be like the human pinball bouncing from event to event so we can meet as many good folks as we can Pete, or any thoughts? Well, I, I can tell you, Larry, it, uh, every day I wish was an hour longer getting towards the event uh, because each day I find a new thing that I got to do and it's got to be pushed into the 24-hour day cycle. So it is ramping up real fast. Uh, one thing I can suggest to people is to take the map of the event and divide it into four and use those days as quarters to Friday in one quarter, the Friday afternoon in the next, Saturday in the next, or Saturday afternoon in the next, and then use Sunday as your follow-up for what you've seen and what you missed. That's gonna be your, your key um, event guide. Uh, afterwards, there's so much to do. Yeah. Ve New York's not the city that doesn't sleep. Vegas is. So it's going to be absolute pandemonium. I was so lucky uh, when, when I booked my ticket. I actually uh, had to book through Charlotte, and I'll be flying in with Brian on uh, on Thursday. So that'll be uh, 
a really unique event that I haven't met Brian in person, but uh, we're on the same airplane for uh, it, and it's going to be absolutely great. We'll be able to talk before the flight and hopefully during the flight, and then he'll probably run away. Um, but other than that, it's uh, it's I'm looking so forward to meeting so many people that that we've grown on this format here over the last 34 episodes and and other other platforms that we've been on from the human side of AI to the all things used cars, all things pick stops, you, you name the platform, we've grown it in the last year exponentially. And it's going to be so amazing to be in front of everyone. Uh, hey, Peter, I, we I noticed we have my friend Christine on who was recently married. Christine, it's great to see you. And uh, congratulations on your recent nuptials. Well, thank you, dear. I, I appreciate that. Enrique is here too. We're eating dinner and listening to the podcast. Hey, Enrique, how are you, sir? How do you pronounce hey, your I'm last name? <laughs> How's it Hold going? On, let's see if we can do the video really quick. Hold on. Good evening, Mr. Hey! Hey! <laughs> there you are. We have the kids Perfect. here too, so we're all listening. So. <laughs> it, well, it's it's what great. We'll keep it clean. I also and, and great to see you and get, again congratulations. I also see uh, yeah. we've got our friend April. We've got uh, Cody Anderson. Uh, Cody, I don't think you've been on before. Um, would you like to uh, tell us? Uh, this is one of these shows where everybody gets a chance to talk. Nobody really gets to pontificate. We just want to have some fun. You want to sure. tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank yeah, you so absolutely. much for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be here. So, I mean, 20 years in the automotive industry. Um, this will be my first NADA. So, I mean, obviously coming out of COVID, a lot of disruption and change going on. So just kind of happy to see what's going on, what's moving and shaking in the space. I've been really, you know, building on the creative side, video, user experience. Now with everybody kind of moving to CDPs and centralized data, I think it's a really good time for us to kind of see how we can create some of those synergies and, you know, just excited about the opportunity. What's the name of your company, Cody? It's uh, Jive Media. Jive Media. Okay. I like that. I like that. Well, um, you know I what? Just, uh, I just got sent something by your company. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got connected. Um, Chris from M1 Data. That's I had it. a good okay. conversation with him the other day and he said, hey, you got to talk to Peter. You guys are talking the same language. Um, so that's when I talked to him. I saw your stuff come up. So he, he said, we got to connect. So great. Feel free. Uh, let's let's share our phone numbers. If you text uh, me or Peter uh, while we're out there. We'd love to shake hands with you and talk 100%. to you and, and see if we can push things forward a little bit for you. Uh, looks like uh, our girl April's back on. Uh, April, how are things with you? Good? Things are great. I'm actually driving right now, so I apologize not on video. But can what, because I'm driving, can one of you do a favor? Um, I'm not at a place where I could write down where you all are going to be and when. Can somebody put that all together and, and message us on a group or shoot an email over um, so that I can add to the calendar? I've got to make sure that I don't miss you all while uh, being in Vegas. Cool. Uh, Peter, uh, Peter is the most meticulous list maker that I've ever met. Peter, could you handle that for our good and great yeah. friend, April Simmons? The short answer is absolutely. You got it. Awesome. Awesome. That would be absolutely perfect. And then I also um, am happy to share back. I just, well, first of all, want to say congratulations to two of my favorite newlyweds. So glad to see you all on. Um, and then also, I got a link just sent to me. The, the boys at Asotocon have put together an after party link. So people who may be new to NADA or not sure what to do, um, you know, at, for their nighttime stuff, they've got it all in one spot. So Jordan's that pretty, pretty meticulous. Jordan is building a serious community. It's really awesome. Yeah, it really, really is. And so them putting all that together, I think, is, is really really huge because you know that's a hard piece too what do you do where do you go what when are you supposed to be there all that good stuff so um hey, 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 April, keep, it, keep in mind too at night if anybody uh you know has too much time on their hands they can always hang with me i don't sleep and you can see how much out of control somebody can be and still be sober that can might be an eye-opening so experience. do you even have a hotel or, or are you just since you're up all, you never, never sleep. Where do you, I mean, I don't understand. I, I'm going to be at the link so I can set up my computer. 
Uh, you'll love this, Russell, because you're as industrious, not more so than I am. I did my six-hour training course today for 21 people, new dealership group. They're beyond thrilled. Before right I left, the GM put me in a bear hug and said, this is scary, the energy and the people. So I put four more ads in for him for various office personnel managers. And then on the way home, our boy David Long reached out to me. I'm doing something for him and two more for Florida. So uh, six hours, 21 people in the process of getting hired and seven ads. That's what I'm talking about, man. That is, ex thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing like, Well, you know what it is? I, I, I said it in class today and I'd stick by it. It's so much more fun to look at your watch and go, wow, it's time to go home than it is like to feel like time is moving backwards. It astonishes me that people choose to be bored by not filling up their day when there's so many things to do in, in the business we have chosen, you know? Well, since I sat in on part of that training today, I would tell you it's impossible to be bored. <laughs> Larry just keeps them laughing. It was a scream, but very, very engaging. My question to you, Larry, is that when you have these, and I could only imagine, and I'm probably pretty close, level of the body language, voice inflection, interaction, level of enthusiasm, excitement, all that kind of stuff. Okay, when you're done, and 15 minutes later, they go, what in the hell just happened? Who yes. was that guy? <laughs> how, do you, yeah. how do you keep that going, Larry? Well, what, what I try to do is, and I won't bore anybody. What I what I try to do is impart to them, like I, you'll like this, Russell. The first thing I do is when I interview people to come into my class, they get into their car and they go, "Who was that lunatic? That was the craziest interview I've ever been in." But they're excited and they're happy. So I explain to them that's my first trick to show you how to make a job interview fun because that's my intention. And Rondell backed me up because it sounds like bull. I taught for three hours and 11 minutes. I gave them each a one minute break just so I could find the managers and drag their butts up. It was basically three hours and 11 minutes with a three minute break. I had to throw them out of the room for lunch. Now I'm not bragging about this. I'm just saying that if you go into things inspired, if you're excited, you know, they don't teach the right stuff in school. They don't teach philosophy anymore. I like to quote Thoreau who said, most men lead lives of quiet desperation. I can't imagine getting up in the morning and not being excited to go to work or do things. And if we can impart to them to do it, if it, Russell today, I taught him that it costs four fifty to bring somebody into a dealership. And if you acted like it was your money instead of the owners, you'd sell more cars. You take people more seriously. So just a lot of stuff like that, Russ, I try to put it on an easy level. There's no real format other than going through the steps. If I have people, that are firefighters, I talk about firefighting. If they're from Venezuela, I talk about Venezuela. It really helps to have the world's worst case of the ADHD. Christine met me in Vegas, and she'll tell you, we, we covered about 92 subjects, and I wasn't even drinking. Is that correct, Christine? <laughs> I think she bounced. That. Oh, no, I'll never she didn't forget bounce. that. Bounce. She would never Definitely. bounce on me. Just because she's married doesn't mean she doesn't want to touch a lunacy this, in her who life. Who was it that just said they were? Anyway. Well, what is his name? What's his name? Wasn't the statement something along the lines of some people die at 80 and some people die at 20, but don't get buried until they're 80. And that's the difference between the energy. I haven't heard that in a while. I love that. So true. It, it's, it's, it's all there. Really but, is that. but it, it still comes down to the same thing, folks. I don't want to hit you with the grim news, but we're all dying. We don't know when. So if we don't turn the volume up every day and give it our best shot, we're cheating ourselves. We're cheating the world. We're cheating our customers. So, man, all I want to do, Russ, is show up every day and have fun. Um, but I, 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 I don't. I want to shut up. Who else? We got Fred on. Fred, uh, what are you looking forward to Come for on, NADA? Fred. We're Where's Fred? Yeah, I'm there trying to get my light on here. <laughs> Hold on, I'll come back. Okay. Let me get a light. Okay, go ahead. Somebody else I, Fred, I just wanted to know what you're looking for to NADA. I've never seen you when you're not engaged in a, in a good mood. And everybody on this program loves seeing you and, and Wendy. And what do you have in mind? What are your thoughts? And what are you looking to do or me to say well, hi to and all that? If I make the trip, you could see all you guys. Just fellowship with you guys. 
Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get in to see the severe, but now with that price, I'll see the outside. Okay. I'll tell you what, you're talking about the sphere, they're probably playing it to death. <clears throat> but uh, my wife and I went during Digital Dealer and we went and saw postcards from the edge. And I'd love to tell you about it, but it will do it absolutely no justice. It, it can only be experienced. It is overwhelming. You won't forget it for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> I've seen a little bit you know, on, the, on the internet, but not nothing. So talk to Rob Angus on LinkedIn, Fred, and have him uh, do a post for you and look for a sponsor to get you into the sphere. Tell him you'll take some photos for him in the expo hall, some selfies to put around social. That's it. We hope not because we ask not. Sure, this is if the you don't ask, ask, the answer is always no. <laughs> How about my boy, Brian Motes? Brian, uh, what are, I'm, I'm assuming you and Zach Vicker will be stirring up the pot. What do you have in mind and what are you looking forward to at NADA? And then we'll hear from our boy, Darren uh, Boats. Darren, it's it's such a pleasure that you become a regular, man. We all we really like seeing you. So, Brian? Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward. It's been a few years since I've been at NADA, so um, looking forward to being back. Um, you know, wait a minute. I just realized we got Brian Boats and Darren Boats. It's really a good thing that I don't drink. Because if I wasn't so, yeah. this would be a, a strange <laughs> coincidental name screw up. But go ahead. Luckily, I'm as sober Very as I was. Go ahead, Brian. So or Darren. We're just or anybody with an open yes at the end of their name. We're just looking forward to, you know, a lot, reiterate a lot of what y'all are talking about here. It's just, you know, Zach and I have, we work virtually. Um, so getting the chance to be together and, and, collaborate it's going to be one of the one of the few times that our entire team is together and and we're looking forward to that and you know meeting a lot of folks um you know for the first time you know we, we met a lot of folks at a soda con uh, but now you know just even like me and peter i mean how cool it is that i'm gonna to get to ride we probably had to try to coordinate and see if we can get seats close to each other on the airplane but you know he's flying into my airport we're gonna have to hang out for over your over your left shoulder are you making a u-turn are you being carjacked i just want to keep track of this <laughs> i'm just turning out to make sure that i am uh not turning out in front of somebody so like i'm dropping my my daughter off at the gym to work out so uh oh. but anyways we're just we're looking forward to you know we're not doing the booth thing either um we've got a lot of a lot of folks to meet and talk with we got we got probably about 25 meetings set with potential partners and um, relationships and all that and events we want to go to. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to, I, I'm a social person and I love being in that environment. I could go for 18 hours a day. <clears throat> I could probably go longer than that because I love being in community, being in conversation, listening and learning and, and hearing what's going on. And, and so I, that, that's what I'm just looking forward to. No different than we, what we had at a soda con it's just being there being with all the with all the people all the wonderful people and all the wonderful energy that this industry you know creates and that's what i'm looking forward to is just being you know kind of being in that community again well brian Isn't you're gonna it? have 18 hours a day for three days uh so you're gonna get to live that dream buddy hey, hey russ isn't it a, isn't it a pleasure that the show is now 35 minutes old and all we've talked about is humans as opposed to ai maybe there is hope for humanity that's because it's the human side of ai sorry it's just so catchy i had to say it that would be wednesday at 11 a.m let's not get that's right confused. 10 a.m if you're central 10 a.m if you're central it could go. be 8 a.m you know it just depends right there we go hey fred oh. there you are my buddy you're in your own sphere i like it you, you made your own environment it's perfect uh d d hey Darren? you guys know where I'm, you know where i'm at right now where am i at guys in the picture uh it looks like an LSD trip to me. <laughs> You're no. You're in the DC I'm metro. Ready to smoke a cigarette. Oh my gosh. You're in the oh. DC metro, man. That's right. Who yeah. who gets it? Who gets it? Michael did. Michael. Yeah. 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 That you don't well. know, Darren, Michael is a panhandler from the D.C. Metro. <laughs> Play my tambourine. 
There we go. Here we that was. Would, uh, that would be the lemon pipers. Let's, let's not go with too much. A couple years ready. ago. A couple years ago, I had yeah, fell off a ladder that. and fractured three or four ribs. And Wendy, uh, Wendy had a job in Maryland and said, you can either go with me or heal up here. I said, shoot, I'll go with you. I've never been there before. And uh, we stayed in Alexandria. Nice. And she went to work, and I laid around the hotel there for a day. And then I got looking and said, shoot, I'm so close to D.C. Oh, my gosh. I'll go down and see the museums and that, you know, of course. So I hobbled so, down the street. Got in DC or the the subway, whatever they call it, metro, and went into DC. Got out and walked around. All the museums is closed. It's <laughs> COVID, but I I did make that walk down uh, Lincoln Memorial. Long that was it was a pond. What was the name of that pond or the lake or whatever they call that? I forget what it was called. It was pretty cool. Go around and see all that stuff and. It was neat. Of course, Wendy didn't get to make it with me. She was working. We did go see my, my wife's memorial, though. Well, she tried to raining. warn you that she tried to warn you it was all closed, but you, you know, you you were hell bent on that journey. So yeah, really. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was cool. Yeah, it is a cool place. Uh, Darren, where, I, where where in uh, Alexandria, Fred? Where you get you guys stand? I like to stay at that King Street Hotel, that Hampton, when we're there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. I know. It, I know it well. I did a I did ton too. of work at fifty nine hundred Richmond Boulevard for um for Orisman Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, right on the corner when you get off oh, the wow. highway. Right. Hmm. And it, it's nice place because it the bridge is right there. Yep. And I was working at the Auto Giant stores in Temple Hills, Maryland, and Manassas and Woodbridge on the Virginia side. So it was a nice hub right there with Alexandria that I was 10 minutes from Maryland and then we had access to Arlington and, and all over all over being right there. So you're, we got the you're, historic you're, side. You're striking up all kinds of memories for me. When in, in uh, Woodbridge, I worked at Lustine before they sold out to Orisman. They were Chrysler, Toyota. And I did a lot of stuff around Manassas with the okay. Lindsay Group. A lot of cool oh, groups right. down there. I'll tell you what, I get confused because... You can go to so many different states and cities. You know, I mean, like really quick. You can drive for 12 hours in Texas and still be in Texas. I, I just, it's, it's beyond me, man. It's like, okay. Um, Alexandria, uh, my old haunt, I spent a decade and uh, doing bartending at the uh, Murphy's Irish Pub. Nice. So it was, it was just upstairs bartender. Just a just a little trivia thing for you there, Russell. You can drive on the same road in Canada for 24 hours straight and not leave the province of Ontario on the oh, same road. All I can say is thank God I don't have an EV and have to do it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> so that I have one, a that one was for Josh. Yeah. Christine, what did you say? I have a quick question. Are we having like a formal meetup then at NADA? We're going no. to make it a, a formal informal. We're going to be doing lethal sales in a couple different places. And boy, would we love to see any or all of your smiling faces. And if we can do dinner one night, with this crew, it would be fabulous since everybody on this darn show gets along so well. Um, and and it, it would be really great to see all of you. So you all know how to reach me, Christine. You reached out to me. It, Darren, I'll yeah. make sure you get me and Peter's number. Let's all get together. Let's have some fun. Life is short. Oh, Let's turn the damn volume up. There. So, if I may, the only person in here I believe that even has a booth. I want to. I want to know what Tony plans. He's got autos on videos, uh, which is freaking amazing technology. But Tony, <laughs> tell us about that. Well, thanks yeah. for asking, Russ. Yeah, we we do have a booth. It's uh, seventy three twenty two North. Autos on video, small booth, great guys, handsome people, unbiased opinion from a passerby. <laughs> but no, we'll be there uh, with our video product to stop by and see us. Um, also promoting the Automotive Partners Association while we're there. 
So I want to encourage folks to, to swing by and uh, learn a little bit more about that. If you're on this call, you can go to the yeah, automotive. If you're on the call, you can go to the automotive partners association.com like right now, and you can sign up and create your list for free. Like right now, they can do it right this minute. Like, like right, right now. Okay. Can you throw the link call. in the chat? Sure. Uh, since I've been on this call, I've had three uh, three uh, partners sign up, uh, and I've been kind of admitting it. But I encourage you to do it. It's completely free if you're not familiar with it. Read the details. I'm going to put it in the chat here. It, it, it's amazing. I I can see some kind of interaction or convergence somewhere. I just don't see how it all fits yet between. APN and uh, uh, the human side of AI. I don't know how, but uh, something's going on there in my head. Are we already on there? Uh, those of us that that started early in the group, are we already on there? No, uh, you'll need to you'll need to head over and create your own. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta create a profile. It'll take you just a couple oh. minutes. First thing you do is join, and then once you join, you can create your listing. When you create your listing, I strongly encourage you to, to do one of two things. Either join and create a listing for yourself, personally, your professional self, or for your company. Um, whatever is best for you, but I highly recommend if you do it for yourself, upload a profile photo. If you do it for your company, upload your company's logo. Doesn't take long, and I'll get a notification. I'll take a look at it and it, wait. It really doesn't take long. Did you get that, Joshua? He's sleeping. And we'll have some well, pens. I'm already doing thinking, it. Tony, if okay. you're there, our We're boy asking. Paul Robson will be there too, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. I'm going to have a little pen uh, hand out to members with a QR code. So at the event, you can say to people, join, hit the QR code, join, takes a couple minutes. We and how do they get this? They have to actually, they have to come to the booth to get it, right? Or how, how's that? Pin? Well, people will have it. It'll be a button. It'll be a pink button with a QR code on it. So you'll see people throughout the event. Yeah, but, but you, how, how does moi get one? Well, you come to the Autos on Video booth with your checkbook. I'll see you there. Is that <laughs> Wait a how minute, it works? What about to, the cash discount? To, I already took this one. Well, hold on, hold on. I don't even use checks. Debit card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. You can, you can, <laughs> you can take Larry's check. I like that. I His like check. that. That boy's loaded. <laughs> what do we need a check for? <laughs> <laughs> it, when you it, stop it, by listen, our Wendy, booth, it's, it's when like a, it's like booth. selling boats. If you have to ask how expensive it is, you can't afford it, so don't even bother. You can bring a ten dollar check or a five dollar bill. Either one. All right, you know what? I, I, I started to ask Darren Boats and then everybody jumped in. Darren, what are you looking forward to at, at NADA? Well, you know, I'm going to be living vicariously through this group. So, uh, yeah, I plan on joining both those lethal sales calls. Uh, you know, this has kind of been a little guilty habit, I guess, every week showing up here. Uh, Larry, I kind of like you a little bit. You give me a little chuckle. I like hearing Russell and all you, Peter and the boys. It's, uh, you know, Wendy. Uh, you know, I've seen you different places. It's just, it's a good little community. And it, uh, you know, I just put a little spring on my step. I need that. I went, I went for a run tonight and uh, here I am. I got a little, get a little habit started. So, I and we appreciate everybody that shows up. Um, it, you know, we've, we feel very lucky that, that we've developed a bunch of really cool people to fit into a community. And it's just fun. So, whatever you're feeling positive about us and our show, we feel exactly the same way. Peter and I have discussed just several times. Matter of fact, uh, Peter will get around to put together a dynamite profile, I guess, so we can spread the good word about uh, Darren. Folks. All, all I have is time. appreciate everybody you know? being involved. Yeah, thank you. you know? Yeah, cool. And and it's going to be Peter, because Peter does elaborate, elaborate things. If it was me, it'd be like a stick figure with your name written on it. So he's, the, uh, he's the creative of the two of us. I'm the mentally unstable one of the two of us. Hopefully you figure that out by now. If not, I can get you 12 people on this call to vouch for my mental instability. I'm drawn to you, Larry. I'm drawn to it. <laughs> Larry, I'm a little slow that's, on this. That's, do, do you guys, are you guys paying attention to this? Christine Hensley married somebody else. The only person on the call attracted to me is Darren Boats. Of course, Dad, where did I go wrong? Maybe I should have warned well, myself. I was hoping. Uh, you was don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Could you please whiteboard this for us? We really need you to whiteboard it out. <laughs> Use that feature. Nobody ever does, but why don't you go ahead and try it? I can tell you, I, I love you. That, I'm going to leave that to Carl. <laughs> All I can tell you is it's going to be a weird year. 
politically and in the car business. Nature abhors a vacuum. All it's going to do is provide opportunities for everybody on this call. Because everybody on this call is smart. Everybody on this call is ambitious. And everybody in this call likes to network with each other. So I got to tell you, you know, uh, I'm straight up and down. I may tell jokes, but I, I look you in the eye. It's going to be a hell of a good year for everybody. Um, I do worry about some dealerships. I, I won't say a name, but I had somebody reach out to me who's in a little bit of trouble. Because like a lot of people, they underestimated when this thing would flip over and they're underwater in a lot of cars. And we're going to see a lot of good people either chopped or fired. But man, for vendors, I think they're going to need us desperately in every direction. And all that's going to mean is we have opportunity to lure. Agree, Russell? I do. You know, and uh, listen, I got to say something I thought was really cool this morning. Um, and it was just real. This is another human side uh, AI thing. I'm sorry. I just, I've been on this thing for like weeks now. And uh, so this guy pitched his thing this morning, okay? And then dealers, uh, like Tony put on his uh, uh, dealer hat, not the Green Peak Consulting hat, and Martha, and, and basically pinned the guy down. And I mean, it sounded really great, but then, uh, oh, we're developing a right think, or, uh, you know, that, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. When you, you, if you don't know, you don't know. I mean, he was fine up until that, and this is the kind of stuff that dealers need to be aware of. They're signing up for crap and they're canceling as fast as they're signing up because yep. it doesn't meet the need. And uh, so um, I really appreciate, uh, you know, uh, what Tony and, and Martha said. And it wasn't being malicious or anything like that. It's beware. I mean, if, if you're in stores, everybody's watching this AI stuff, Okay. And they're watching it. And if you got something solid and it works and it solves a, a particular challenge, then I'll tell you what, uh, it'll spread like wildfire. But if you're full of poo-poo, uh, that'll also spread. It'll, it'll smell bad. Russell, I have, a, I have a song that I wrote that I like so much. I need one of our CDs after. It's called What You Do in the Dark. And the line is, what you do in the dark must come to the light. If you're trying to sell bullshit to people that are going through difficult and trying times, you're going to get exactly, uh, uh, Tony likes it when I allude to the Bible, you're going to reap what you sow. Right. And, and if you're coming across straight ahead with this is what I do and how I do it, it's really simple. Right. Uh, so, yep, there yeah. we go. He's got the good book out. Yeah. So you got, you got uh, uh, automotive partners network and you got the human side of AI and it's going to become so prevalent that people are going to be talking. Yeah, that sounds really good. Once you show up at the human side of AI in such a such state, they'll allow you to pitch your stuff to all these different people, which will be a, a great leg up for you or the kiss of death. It's going to be one or the other. And uh, I think it's great. And same thing with Automotive Partners Network, uh, vetted, trusted uh, partners that dealers can turn to uh, that, you know, feel safe. Yeah. And this is an iron sharpens iron platform. And I know Wendy's is the same way. Yeah. You know, as 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 uh, partners, as dealers, we want to help each other get better, so we can serve our clients better, and we can have better relationships with our partners as well. Hey, Tone, before we jump to my my girl Wendy, um, just a, a quick note: I was minding my own business December thirtieth, and my wife said to me, "What does January look like?" I said, "I'll tell you the truth: I'm going to be sitting in front of my computer, I'm going to be placing a billion ads, and I don't think I'm going anywhere." And then I had seven different dealers call me. So I'm not complaining. I love being running around. But my problem is I every Wednesday I'm training, which I did today, and every Thursday I finish up training. So please, for, for you and for Wendy and everybody else, that's the only reason you haven't seen me too much on the human side of AI and certainly on the automotive partners, which I'm thrilled to be a part of and interested in. So I just didn't want you to think I dropped or lost interest. They got me running in a bunch of different directions. And man, is it good to be busy. I'll tell you, Larry, you're not kidding. You know, I sat down over the holidays and, and did my goals, which I do every year for, for this year. And I have eight goals relating to my, uh, my gigs. And by the end of this month, well, as of probably tomorrow, thank, thankfully to my good friend, you know who, Mr. Hill, I'll have hit two of my eight goals for the whole year. And we're what? 25 days into the year. I mean, uh, guys go out and get it. There are a lot of people that need help.
from people who really want to take care of them. Yep. Yep. And uh, time is not standing still. We, we got to move forward while we can. We got to do it. We got to accomplish it. I, I, I will, I'll tell you the truth. I feel sorry for people that aren't as ambitious as we are because it just feels good to, to expend your energy and do everything you can. And let me say this to you, virtue better be its own reward because they've stopped giving out trophies for it as far as I know. Well said. <clears throat> Trying to see if we missed anybody. We heard from Cody. We well, Wendy. How could we not hear from, from Wendy? Wendy, bring it, girl. So you you kind of you you kind of leave me to, toward the end anyway. So because then I can say, like he said, like she said, like he said, and she said, I agree. So um I'm looking forward to a productive NADA this year. You know, the last two years, Fred and I have been going to conventions and where for the last several decades, I had my head down and really didn't know that aspect of our industry. Um, as I was learning, I just kind of was meeting people over the last couple of years. And it has really paid off because I have made some wonderful friends. And I now have a network where when dealers or other vendors tell me, then this is going on or that's going on. I don't know. I think my God changed my purpose, like with COVID. And I think he uses me as a vehicle or a vessel to bless others many times. And um, a lot of times that's as much as a simple introduction. And I think that's what we're all here for. And, you know, we're stronger together. You want to use stronger together, better together, whatever. Um, and um, although, you know, when the bill collectors come around, they're not too happy with that explanation that I'm, I'm helping to bless others, but you know what, that all comes to, if we do the right thing, if we have integrity, if we're honest, I believe that it's all God's plan and God's timing and it's going to come and he's going to bless in abundance. So in the meantime, whenever Fred starts freaking, I said, Fred, I got this. Just trust me. I said, God has this. I said, and I'm like, okay, God, I trust you. You just gotta give me a little patience and especially give Fred some patience because He's the kind of guy that everything's on time and everything's organized and whatever. And I'm not worried because I know there's a plan and it's his plan. And I'm sorry if you're not a Christian or believer in, and that insults you, I'm sorry, but that's who I am. And that said, I am looking forward to being strategically about this one. Um, we were looking for economical places to stay and Don Brady got us a timeshare for $99 from Saturday to Saturday for Fred wow. and I, one bedroom at the Tahiti Resort and free parking, and we're driving there. So I'm like, guess what, bud? We're not going Wednesday, we're going this Saturday. So start packing tomorrow, start packing the it. snacks because we have a full kitchen. Thanks, so Chris. I don't have to get the expensive meals. I can cook for him all week leading up to the show. He can go do whatever he does while I'm working at the resort from mm -hmm. for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's perfect. And I just got to find a place for Saturday night, but the human side of AI guys, Russell, you constantly, all you guys, you really talk that up. And I feel the same thing, Russell. I'm so thankful that you reminded me, Wendy, did you buy that domain yet? And that I did because it's going to be a gateway to other opportunities, I believe. And I believe those of us who are co-hosts are going to get business simply from just, you know, our photos and our bios organically, whatever. But the whole idea is it's going to be that same safe space where people can educate and be educated about AI. And what I'm looking forward to guys, what my driving passion is, like I approached a lot of the companies six months ago already and demoed them with April and Martha at the last convention. And they, um, nobody wants to be proactive, especially with like auto service AI, I'll name names. You know, Ben's got a great product. I'm not quite sure of the infrastructure, but I do know that I said, hey, I'll give you an agent for 2K a month that can be the human side that takes the TO if you don't have a BDC or whatever. And then he's not bringing the dealers till there's already a glitch. And by then it's too late. So they too will understand that we need to get infrastructures set up, et cetera. To that end, my mission now is to get a better idea of all of the, the particulars, which one's good for what, based on the lists and the PowerPoints that, that Jen Sanford and Peter and Hunter Swift created. And if anybody's interested, we got them all. And I'm trying to get this website up now that's just for a skeleton, but it's basically gonna be a piece where, where we're gonna investigate, we're gonna know about all the 
the providers and everything. And then we want to get something going on. Like April and I were talking mm. about it, about, you know, onboarding these dealers to the products for the vendors and then holding their hands for 60 days to make sure that it the, the vendors don't just set it and forget it. And that we make sure that whatever staff is going to be working with it knows how to use it and how to police it for the first 30, 60 days. So that's my mission is to see lots and lots of demos um, there because I don't have the bandwidth away from the show. So I'm going to try to get it done there since I can't go to the educational the setup uh, sessions. But Russell, I do need somebody to get me into Kaylee's presentation. So whoever uh, you know that can muscle me uh, in and I'm, have the, the door I'm come gonna, up the other way. I'm going to work on that. You, The last two uh, human sides of AI, I've heard a couple of things. It's going to throw this out there. It's been in my head. Now it's finally coming out. You, What you just talked about a minute ago is a whole new category of um, uh, consultants uh, for the automotive industry is the human side to ensure that these things, uh, you, you're the ones that are educated. It's like, it's like what uh, what Larry does, uh, what Mike does. I mean, the, I mean, you're, it's a whole new niche uh, for the automotive industry. And Joshua, yes, there is a WhatsApp for the human side of AI. And I don't know about uh, lethal sales. Is there, Peter? Larry? Um, the I, WhatsApp I for lethal sales? No. Yeah, we have one for human side. AI. The answer is yes, Joshua, and I'll make sure you get on there. Okay. I'll put that on things to do before uh, NADA. Oh, and then another thing too, I got to share this with you. This is my life experience. We I, we have to remain open and humble and kind because I've 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 had some the most remarkable days and events in in a moment or during the day or even now that's just like overwhelmingly oh it's just wonderful 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 and it turned out to be a total freaking disaster worst thing that ever happened to me. Now, I've had some of the worst things I thought in the moment that doom and gloom and there's no way out and I can't see it, but to remain humble and kind and open and prayerful. And believe it or not, some of those worst things that I thought was the end, the absolute end, I'm going under, it's over, the ship has sailed, turned out to uh, propel me and excel me into something I, I couldn't even imagine. So, boy, you never know, man. You got to keep grinding. I, I think Glenn Lundy said this, your network is equal to your net worth. Hey, you know what, Russ? I just realized one of my favorite people's on this show, and I forgot to ask him what he's looking forward to. Mr. Larkin, yes. would you please tell us what it is you're looking forward to do? I'm looking forward to that Facebook group on the APA going from uh, and doubling or tripling or 10xing from this NADA. So remember, if you're a, a partner, if you're a dealer partner, go to Automotive Partners S Association and then click on the join first. Don't get into the, the directory first. Join first. People are having a tough time when they got, uh, hell, I did my profile and it's nowhere to be found. Join first. <laughs> so I'm looking to it 10xing um, with all the excitement that's going on with with this. Right on. Hey, right. hey, Cody and Momentum. Christine, since, since you're new to the show or haven't been on in a while, Mike Larkin is one of these guys that will help anybody with anything. Besides having really great ideas, and just being a class act, oh my gosh. just one of these guys that'll help anybody with anything. It's it's such a pleasure to have him around. And I got to tell you, Mike, I'm a little sorry you're not going to be at NADA, but at some point in the next few months, I'll come to where you are some way, shape, or form. You and I got to go get dinner yeah. together, yeah. man. I, oh, I you, enjoy Let's you get you a training up yeah. here. You right? know it's happening. So I got to <laughs> tell you, I think it was a mere three weeks ago, Darren boats popped in to one of the events i go to and i swear i swear he is everywhere i swear i swear he's everywhere i mean he's in every me i see him every all over the places that's what networking does doesn't it darren well if you're not working you're gonna be uh you're gonna be out networking right you gotta uh, see what's going on bubble, what are people man? talking about <laughs>
Russell, it's a pleasure to see you morning, noon, and night, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, right? A, a, a <laughs> lot of you. I started out at 4.30, my time, and here it is, 7 o'clock, my time, and you're here again. <laughs> hey, I'll follow up on what Russell said and, and Larry said about Mike. This guy is uh, one of the most flexible people, coachable people I've met. I mean, <laughs> I think in a former life, he must have been at the circus because he is a contortionist when it comes to meeting your needs. He really will make the changes and is willing to learn and super coachable. So the uh, services that he offers are pretty, pretty down on outstanding. So sorry uh, to fawn over you, Mike, but uh, I've learned a lot about. No, I, I got to give the glory to God, but I also give the glory to uh, my father. Rest in peace. He goes, if you're going to do a job, do it right or don't Amen. do it at all. Amen. And I, I am reminded of that every time I'm shoveling snow. <laughs> as as Mr. Thorstad would say, as it says, as Jesus said, render unto God what is God's and unto Caesar's what is Caesar's. If we don't give the proper due to the people that we care about and who have influenced us, then what are we doing? Hey, you missed the last part of that scripture, though. It says, and what's left over, toss it Tony's way. <laughs> That's great. I got more Christian and you just became Jewish. Where's the money? I love it. Cody, I got you, man. I got what, you. What, one person we haven't heard from is Josh. He he only replied to Russell's comments. He Josh. hasn't said a thing. No, Josh spoke up early. Josh, no, he did He did say, you're right, 157 uh, dealerships represented. He, if, if, was I was off, if I was off one or two, I expect Josh to have my back. And he Josh, did. do you have any thoughts about NAPA Gosh, other than the fact that you're going to be honored and and oh, you're at soccer practice? No problem. That's why we have we got to oh, get oh, him oh, in oh. earlier because he jumps into uh, things with his kids and stuff. Yeah, that's great. All so, right. anybody have anything else? Yeah, I'm I, I'm just going to close off with this is going to be an NADA to remember. We're going to have so much uh, fun. And and that's the as Larry says, if we can't if we can't enjoy this business and have fun in it, why are we in it? So it's it's gonna be a learning experience, it's gonna be gaining intelligence that we don't we don't have from visiting vendors. It's gonna be just an interaction, it's gonna be amazing, and I can't wait to meet all of you there. Okay, just remember there is no lethal sales um, next Wednesday. We're moving it all to Friday and Saturday at NADA. Um, watch the lethal sales, LinkedIn, Facebook, for the unique Zoom links for those two events, Friday and Saturday. And can't wait to see all you guys have fun and live vicariously because I don't get to go anywhere. Aww. Oh, come on. You were at the dealership today. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, one last thing is I'll be carrying around some uh, filming equipment. So we will be doing some pop-up videos. They will be recorded and push, pushed out uh, as little tidbits. So we'll just do quick little interviews with everybody while we're there. All right. Okay, everybody. Thank right on. You, you, guys so are, you guys and gals are awesome. Thank you for showing up for me tonight, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet everybody. You. Love you guys. See you all soon. See Take you. care. Good night, everybody. See you all there. Yes.